Hey, what's going on? We are here at a Battlefield Bad Company 2 event in San Francisco talking to Carl Magnus Trotzen, executive producer of the Battlefield series. Carl Magnus, how you doing, sir? I'm very good today. It's uh, a nice feeling being here and showing the single player for the first time. Now, this is pretty exciting. Uh, you guys have been showing off a lot about the, uh, the multiplayer for Bad Company 2 for a while now, and I have been chomping at the bit. Been waiting to hear more about the single player because I want to know what Bad Company's been up to since the first game, since they got all their gold and got away clean. How do you get them back? What, what's Bad Company doing back in the fray? Well, they didn't really get away clean. I mean, there's a time gap in, two, in between the two different games, but uh, they didn't get away clean. The army actually caught them and they don't have the gold anymore. And when you catch up with the squad, you'll actually find them on a bit of a... Well, you know, they do some poor missions up in Alaska on the, uh, on the cold border where the Russians are about to invade. And they're actually accommodating there, being accommodated there on uh, penal duty. You know, they've been ordered on some very bad missions. So, so they messed up and this is their punishment is Alaska. Of course, you know, what can they do? They always mess up. It's bad company. So uh, one of the things that, that you guys have said so far about the single player uh, is that you're going for maybe a little more of a serious tone than the first game. What, what motivated that kind of shift of tone? Well, this, uh, first of all, we wanted to see what kind of we, uh, you know, if we take these characters, the same characters that, that we had before, the same lovely bantering going on in between them, the same kind of humor, but we put them in a more serious scenario, what would happen, and that's where the, uh, the, the drama and the more serious tones start to get through. It's really something we wanted to see, uh, you know, how we could evolve the characters by doing that. So they're not necessarily more serious, but they're in a much more dire situation. Absolutely, and, uh, and the stakes are higher, and the stakes for them themselves. It's not just about them going after finding some gold, you know, trying to get rich. It's actually about defending, you know, a lot of things that they care about. So uh, let's, let's talk a little bit about the story here, about you know, what it is that's moving the bad company through the game. Now there's, there's a big war happening here. Yeah, there's a big war about to happen actually, because you have the big superpowers of the world, like the United States and uh, Russia, and they're really just about to go at it. And uh, Russia is very aggressive, they're establishing bases in South America, and it's getting closer and closer to the, uh, the US homeland, so to say. And this is where we catch up with the squad and where the game actually begins. And there's, uh, the, the Russians have some sort of super weapon. It seems like that's kind of the driving thing that they're going after. Yeah, they, we won't announce too much about that, but yeah, that's the thing going on. So the squad actually gets sent down to South America to find out more what this is actually about. And um, yeah, that's when everything starts to go wrong as usual. So we're starting off in Alaska, but then we are going to South America. That's a, a pretty big swing as far as the environments for the game. Uh, what can people expect as far as kind of the, the breadth of environments in Bad Company 2? Well, variation was a key thing for us when we built this game, both in multiplayer and single player. We wanted uh, the players to experience a lot of different environments. So there will be snow environments, there will be uh, jungle, there will be desert. There will be a, a quite a bit of difference. There will be forest levels that are autumn, not just green, etc. There's a lot of good things in there. I will say, though, that, that from what I've seen of the game so far, there is a, uh, a common theme of everything blowing up. <laughs> yeah, well, it's bad company and it's Battlefield. The, uh, we like to call it Destruction 2.0, that we have just evolved it from the first game. And uh, you can take down the houses, you can chip away small pieces, you can blow holes in the ground, take out the vegetation, whatever you do, do it. And it's not just because of the eye candy, it's because of the tactical choices it gives the player how they play the game. And that's the same in single player as it is in multiplayer. Now you guys are talking a little bit about multiplayer. You're, you're uh, unveiling, uh, is, it, is it your last mode that you're unveiling here? Or? Yeah, today we talked about the fourth game mode uh, that's called Squad Rush. It's one of our, the smallest and most tactical and intense mo uh, modes that we actually have in the game. Uh, it's four on four, one squad on one squad. And uh, similar to uh, the objective-based rush before, but it's much tighter and it demands much more tactical uh, from the players. And you're also talking about uh, a little hardcore mode as well. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, it's not so much a mode as it is a setting, actually, because it's a setting that can be, be applied to all the four modes that we have in the game. And basically what it does is that it boils down the experience and reduces a lot of things. So it removes the killer cam and it, um, you know, it adds more damage to the weapons and it removes HUD elements. And suddenly you can, uh, you can team kill uh, players as well. So it's a mode, it's a setting where you actually, um, that we want to entice the really hardcore people to start playing with. I imagine that might make it a little easier for the, uh, let's say, more casual players to kind of ease into the games that the hardcore players aren't uh, taking part in. Absolutely. That was part of the idea that when you play the game for a while and start to get really good at it, start playing the hardcore mode and you can let the newbies 
you know, chill out a while in the ordinary mode, perhaps. Now, uh, getting back to the, the single player a little bit, we're, we're, I assume Bad Company is not still gold hungry. They still don't have the, the gold lust. Is there any sort of personal motivation for Bad Company for, uh, for being on this mission, or are they just men of duty now? They're men of duty, but they're men of duty out of because they're forced to. So uh, I won't announce the or say exactly what it is that they're driving them, but um, well, the war is coming dangerously close to the uh, American homeland. So. That's a great teaser, Carl Magnus. I want to thank you so much for your time, sir. Hey, tell us uh, what's your your current release date for Battlefield Bad Company 2? It's coming out March 2nd here in uh, North America, and it's coming out on PlayStation 3, 360, and PC. Excellent. Again, thank you for your time, sir. Thank you.